This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now here again with Nasir, the man. <laughs> and today we have some juicy stuff for you guys. It's not about uh, regular repairs today. We're going to go deeper into that. So um, this place now is called EV Hub. Hub. Yes. Right. And I think we just let uh, Nasir do everything, the most of the talking, because I don't know too much about this. But Nasir probably has lots of juicy stuff to show you guys. Thank you, Bjorn. Uh, for me, it's like a dream come true. I have worked with this uh, project uh, a long time, but uh, we are in the demo mode. So uh, EV Hub is a, a combination with uh, Bosch uh, car service, KJK, and some other uh, people with us. And uh, the main thing is to repair uh, high voltage uh, components. So that's why today we have a Tesla Model S 85 kilowatt battery pack. Uh, this have damaged the uh, battery pack. The car stopped on the road. So uh, today we are going to take out the main battery, go through the safety stuff and uh, many things more. I should, okay, maybe one thing I should mention, by the way, guys. This one, okay, so it's a custom, there was a customer who came to Nasir. Uh, before that one, the customer went to Tesla also, right? Yes. And, so are, are we allowed to talk about that one? Uh, yes, we can just say that he, um, it was a little bit expensive, so we want some uh, other solutions. So uh, then he find out and then how he went out to help uh, to fix the car. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. So what's the next now? We're going to check on. Did we check out this one? Yes, uh, right. we can, you can check out the faults, um, uh, what is coming up. That's uh, maybe interesting. So um, let me see. I'm going to show you something uh, weird here. It seems like we have 100%, but only 146 kilowatt, uh, kilometers. So it's supposed to be more like 360 kilometers. And we have lots of errors here. Yeah, <laughs> just cycle through all the errors. So um, yeah, it's just stopped on the road and it was transported with Viking over to uh, Nasir. Um, Lots of lots of error messages. We can also see here. Uh, wait, wait, let me adjust here. So again, to me and for the user, this is just lots of gibberish. What the heck is all this stuff? BMS F097. Uh, so lots of lots of error messages. But you see, to show that we have hooked up uh, the adapter here, mm -hmm. and then we have the OBD adapter here. And I guess we can go outside and check got my Tesla. Yeah. So uh, you guys uh, have seen it before. Yes, and um, as you can see, uh, the model number nine have low voltage, 1.9. So it's too much difference, uh, the car, uh, the BMS sh uh, shut it down. Yeah, the other models are 3.9, so this is yeah. 1.9, so there's one yeah. thing, yeah. And uh, together uh, with the Ahmed and the EV Hub are making a project together. So we are going to make a Scan My Tesla Pro version together with EV Hub that is uh, only solely to uh, diagnostic uh, on the battery packs. So that is also coming. So it's many new stuff that uh, is coming soon. Uh, so um, yeah, uh, and, and the state of health and the uh, uh, battery status uh, and many other things, not only on Tesla, but other electric vehicle as well. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So, okay, um, what are we going yes. to do now? Yes, so now we are going to go uh, to uh, disassemble. Uh, um, uh, actually, this car had that uh, 12 volts uh, battery, so we have a very strong <laughs> booster here uh, to power up the car. So we are going to disassemble everything uh, to take out the uh, connection, uh, so uh, the, the safety, so we will go through the safety procedure. And then we are going to take out the... Uh, uh, and uh, before that, uh, we are going to do with the toolbox, drain the battery. But that I'm not uh, sure I'm allowed to show on the video how it's done. But we are going to take out the battery and then we continue from there. Yes. So now we are going to explain a little bit about uh, tools and uh, safety. In Norway, we have something called HMS, Health Environment uh, Safety. I think it's... Uh, yeah, and yeah, the equivalent for yeah, English. Yeah. 
So uh, then I want to show you the equipment, what we are going to use, and that uh, everybody here is trained and go, have gone on high voltage uh, uh, courses. So that is also very important. And we have also read the, the manufacturer uh, safety, how to disassemble uh, the battery. It's like similar from car to car, but a little bit different. So uh, whenever you are going to do this kind of job, it's, it's very important that, uh, uh, to read uh, the safety manual from the factory. So the, have you watched uh, uh, Rich Rebuilds? Yes, video? I follow him a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, do you use a kitchen knife to pop stuff open? No, I think no, <laughs> because then the, some people will close the shop here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, here is the battery bench. Uh, it can take like uh, 1,000 kilo, one ton. So uh, I think Tesla battery is 600 uh, kilo. So then we are inside the spec to take out the battery. Uh, as well as uh, the tools here. Gloves is also very important for the high voltage. Can we see the, yeah. there's something written here. Uh, 7,500 volt AC. <laughs> so it's uh, made in actually in France. So hmm. I think it's good quality. Uh, this is uh, the tools, uh, isolated tools. Uh, so because in the EV hub, we are solely only going to work with the uh, electric vehicle and high voltage, so every tool is isolated. Oh, can you, can you show one of those? Yeah, uh, yeah you see here. Um, so it's actually 1,000. It says 1,000 volt. Yeah. So you can, you can work on Taycan then. Yeah, uh, this is 800 volt, I think. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Taycan will maybe go out of warranty, I don't know, five, eight, ten years, so uh, then it will uh, definitely be inside EV Hub. Uh, so this is a delivery tools from uh, Kamasa, Kamasa tools actually, everything here. Oh, okay, see yeah. And uh, this is also, it's very important to tighten the bolts uh, correctly with the, with the Newton, correct the Newton meter, everything. That's important to have the correct tools. So can you open more, I want to see. Yeah, that. yeah, of course. Uh, okay, th this is a little, little bit empty, uh, but here is the wiring if you, we need to do some jobs and this is the insulation. Here, so everything is, is, is certified, and uh, uh, for the electric uh, wiring, that's also important hmm. to use uh, correctly. Then uh, we are going to uh, actually disassemble the uh, battery. Um, Ruben, maybe we can show where the bolt is sitting for the. Uh, uh, for the. We must open the bolt in the middle. Yeah. And after we lift up the jack, yeah. and uh, we remove the rest one. Uh, around the bolt and yeah. we remove the yeah. battery. Um, and, and, uh, some, uh, and often it's standing here on the right side. Many people know that which kind of battery is. Sometimes the lap fall off, but I don't know if you oh, see yeah, the, the sticker here. The yeah. sticker here. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is the, the original battery. Yeah, have been here. Uh, that that we can see on the screw back here. Also, it, it's like a little bit. Revision B. Yeah. I think it's older than the Falcon's battery. Even. Yeah, so now we have removed some screws. It was a little bit of rust because it's normal. Nobody had touched these screws in eight, nine. Yeah, eight hundred, years. Eight years, yes. So, um, yeah, it will be very nice to see when we disassemble the battery and see what's actually the problem inside. Oh, but with these guys, uh, they are doing some work right now. Yes. Is that uh, Koge, KGK? KGK, Koge Ko. From they are, Sweden, uh, yeah. ZF uh, Partners, ZF. Uh, they are very big in the uh, gearbox automotive industry and they are testing uh, uh, gearbox for a big uh, bus. I want to show you one more thing, uh, Björn. Here is a set of uh, logo, by the way. See here. If you uh, see, this is, uh, this is the real drive unit. <laughs> wow, look at that compared to <laughs> Nasi. That's so, huge. What is this from? Uh, yes, this is from uh, a bus uh, that have uh, run in the Oslo streets from 2017, I think so. So uh, this uh, we have uh, got as a gift to repair and refurbish. So this is a project we will uh, do. So we will fix uh, fix this uh, drive unit. Wow. <laughs> Where, where's the motor? And where's uh, the motor is on each uh, e each hub here, the electromotor here and here. 
So I heard that uh, this was like a uh, price like uh, more than 50, 60,000 euros for one of this, uh, uh, this parcel. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's expensive. Hmm. So that also, you see, uh, salt, hardened Norwegian weather. Yeah. What it can do with uh, the parts. <laughs> As you can see, the battery is out. It looked like it have never been uh, dissembled before. You see how much dirt. <laughs> it is here. Here is uh, one leaf, so been there many years, maybe eight years. <laughs> so, uh, so the next uh, thing we will do is to clean everything here. After we will uh, disassemble the battery lock, and uh, the counting goes like uh, like this here. Uh, this is. Module number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine will be, uh, I think so, in the top there. So we will see what uh, is the re reason for that have been uh, damaged. So as you can see, uh, we have uh, the safety issues is very important. We had one um, uh, uh, consultant company who take uh, the safety measurement and we have made a plan if something happened, uh, everything. So this is also very uh, important to know how to do if things happen wrong. So uh, we have gone through the procedure uh, before we actually officially uh, started uh, working with the high voltage components. And I also heard that uh, the fire department was involved here. Yes, uh, we are also in the dialogue with them to find out how to solve, uh, solve things. Uh, safety uh, if something uh, happens. So they are also helping us out uh, to see what we can uh, do uh, with this stuff because the, everything is new. This is the new type of workshop, uh, what we are going to do, how, how we are going to work because normally in car industry, it's only been 12 or 24 uh, voltage, of course, with the hybrid, but now they are starting to come into aftermarkets after the warranty is out. So we are still uh, learning a lot. <laughs> Now we are outside the building. As you see, we have a lot of uh, jobs to do. So EV Hub is hiring. We are looking for people all over the Europe. So uh, if you know, uh, you are watching, you know somebody who can uh, be a tech lead in the company to work with R&D, electric car, save the environment, uh, to make the electric car live longer. That's our mission. So please uh, take uh, contact with us. And then, yeah, this, by the way, is also a, a car that needs to be repaired. Yes, uh, this is a waiting. So when we are finished with the other uh, car, this is the next uh, car we will take in. Is it also a battery problem? Exactly. Ah, oh, I just noticed something. This is where the, what the heck is this thing goes in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I've been joking all this time. I know, of course, what it is. <laughs> but okay, so interesting. Uh, we just have to wrap up the part one now. It, this will take some time. That's why I, I don't want it to be two long episodes, but um, I guess you guys can watch the next one when we do the juicy stuff. Yes. And I think next time, maybe I also need to wear some, some safety equipment. Yeah, gloves and, uh, and, uh, and uh, safety, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the glasses. Glasses, yes, mm. like this. And, and then we will go to the parts where we disassembled and everything. So uh, this high will voltage. be the high voltage component, yeah. part two. Yeah. So stay tuned for some high voltage action then. <laughs> and I can't wait to see. You guys, you know, we, we, we just took a look at this now, so we have no idea what's wrong. And hopefully we can fix the battery. And we we uh, think so. So we will just see what's the problem and then we will solve it from uh, there. And hopefully by the end of whatever part is going to be, the car will be able to drive out here by itself. <laughs> yes, and you will test it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching and talk to you later.